So, what does the Rust programming language have to do with fungus? Funguses. Fungi. More on this a little bit later. So, is C Sharp better than Rust? These two languages clearly differ significantly in their usage, design, and memory management, and in other aspects as well. But they are both modern programming languages and are both in the top 20 most popular programming languages list, at least according to the Tyobi Index. C Sharp is currently rated at position number 5 in the Tyobi Index, and Rust is way further down the list at number 14. But if we look here, we can see that in 2023, Rust was ranked at position number 17. And at the time of creating this video in late 2024, Rust is at position number 14. So according to the Tyobi Index, Rust is growing in popularity while C Sharp has kind of been hovering at the same position. Rust is a general purpose programming language emphasizing performance, type safety, and concurrency. It first appeared on the scene May the 15th, 2009, Rust began as a personal project in 2006 by Mozilla researcher employee Graydon Hoare, named after a group of fungi or fungi, fungi. that are over engineered for survival. Okay, so I think C Sharp wins this round. A beautiful musical note C Sharp versus fungus. Okay, so I've actually heard that the name C Sharp was kind of derived from C++, where they took the name C++ and added another two pluses to it to get C Sharp. So how does that work? C Sharp was derived from C++++. Yep, C Sharp is actually C++++. So how does that equal C Sharp? Well, you take C, you add plus plus, and then you add two other pluses below the top pluses, and you get C sharp. I guess the more pluses you have in the name, the better the language is, or something like that. So perhaps create a language called C++++++++++. But bear in mind that could get pretty silly pretty fast. C sharp was developed by renowned Danish software engineer Anders Halsberg and his team at Microsoft. The first version was released in the year 2002. Anders Halsberg once said that when developing C sharp, he wanted to combine the power and expressiveness of C++ with the RAD, rapid application development capabilities of Visual Basic. According to these survey statistics, Rust is just undergo in terms of median pay rankings. And C Sharp is way below these two languages, but more on salary in just a bit. Right, let's get into the delicious details. Fungus. Fungus. <laughs> but before we do that, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on X, my username is at Gavin Lon Digital. Right, so let's get into it. Ecosystem. C Sharp runs on top of a software layer known as .NET. It is broadly used in web development via ASP.NET, enterprise applications, and desktop apps via .NET MAUI and WinForms. C Sharp is also used for the development of games using the Unity game engine. Rust is primarily used for embedded systems, systems programming, and performance critical software. It's also becoming popular for web assembly, networking, blockchain, and even game development. Rust ecosystem is growing, but it is not as mature or wide reaching as the .NET ecosystem for certain domains like enterprise application development. Memory. C Sharp uses garbage collection to automatically manage memory. The garbage collector periodically frees up memory that is no longer in use. This makes memory management easier for developers, but can introduce unpredictability in performance due to pauses caused by garbage collection. With the Rust programming language, there is no garbage collection. Rust uses a system of ownership, borrowing, and lifetimes to ensure memory safety at compile time. This results in more predictable performances and eliminates runtime pauses due to garbage collection. But it requires developers to manage memory more explicitly. Concurrency. C Sharp supports concurrency via the task-based asynchronous pattern, TAP, using async await and the parallel class. 
C Sharp abstracts much of the complexity of concurrency, but the garbage collector and runtime can add some overhead. Rust emphasizes memory safety in concurrency. Rust's ownership model guarantees the data is safe from data races at compile time. Rust also has async await for async concurrency and supports threads, but its model ensures more precise control over concurrent data access, leading to potentially safe and faster concurrent programs. Runtime performance. For C Sharp, as a high-level language with garbage collection and runtime abstraction through the .NET runtime or CLR, it is generally slower than Rust in performance-critical applications. However, C Sharp has been optimized over time and performs well for many types of applications. Rust is designed for high-performance systems programming, and its performance is often comparable to C or C++. Since Rust has no runtime and does not depend on a garbage collector, it often has better performance, especially in systems where fine control over memory is critical. Syntax. C Sharp has object-oriented support, with support for classes, inheritance, interfaces, and abstract classes. C Sharp also supports functional programming, like Link, Language Integrated Query, Lambdas, and Pattern Matching. Rust combines elements of procedural, functional, and systems programming. It is not object-oriented in the same way as C Sharp, focusing on traits and structs instead of classes and inheritance. Rust's syntax can be more complex due to its focus on safety and explicitness. Memory safety. C Sharp relies on the runtime garbage collector to prevent issues like use after free and dangling pointers. Memory safety issues like buffer overflows can be mitigated, but are still possible in unsafe code. So it's important to note that in C Sharp, a developer can choose to use pointers to directly access memory in C Sharp. But this is considered as unmanaged code, as opposed to managed code that runs within the context of the .NET runtime. So C Sharp developer can choose to explicitly create unsafe code outside of the context of the .NET runtime. A reason for the implementation of such unsafe code might be to increase performance, but the developer needs to be careful as this may also result in less stable code being executed at runtime. With Rust, memory safety is guaranteed by the borrow checker at compile time. Rust enforces strict rules around ownership and borrowing, making memory-related errors like null pointer dereferencing and buffer overflows extremely difficult to encounter. Error handling. C Sharp uses exceptions for error handling where errors are handled via try catch blocks. Rust does not have exceptions. It uses results and option types for error handling, which are handled explicitly at compile time. This encourages developers to handle errors upfront and improves reliability by forcing attention to potential failures. Community. C Sharp has a large mature community and is widely adopted, especially in enterprise settings, game development, and web applications. Rust has a growing community, especially among systems programmers, and is increasingly being adopted in industries that prioritize performance and safety. For example, operating systems, web browsers, cryptography, etc. Cross platform support. C Sharp, with the advent of .NET Core, and the unification with .NET 5, .NET 6, and with the latest version of .NET 9 soon to be released in November of this year, C Sharp has great cross-platform support for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Rust is designed from the ground up to be cross-platform, and it compiles to many targets, including WebAssembly. It works well across different operating systems and platforms. Tooling. Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code provide robust development environments with excellent debugging, code completion, and refactoring tools. Rust has strong support via the Cargo Build System and Package Manager. Rust's tooling is generally good, with editors like VS Code offering strong support, though some of the tooling is still catching up to more mature ecosystems like .NET. Salary. So according to this Stack Overflow survey, the median salary paid to C-sharp developers 
is a lot lower than the median salary paid to Rust or Go developers. So if it's purely money that you're interested in, this statistic may mean something to you. Please be advised that on average, there are way more jobs available for .NET and C-Sharp developers than Rust and Go developers. There are, of course, many factors to take into account when it comes to salary, like your skill level, your geographic location, whether you are working remotely, whether you are a contractor or a freelancer, etc. So, as always, my advice is to augment your research by performing searches tailored to your specific context, using LinkedIn and reputable recruitment websites like Indeed or Monster, and then assess what jobs are available and what salaries are offered. Summary. C Sharp is ideal for enterprise software, web applications, and game development, with an emphasis on ease of development thanks to garbage collection and mature tooling. Rust is designed for high-performance systems programming and provides fine control over memory management, ensuring memory and concurrency safety at compile time. Each language excels in different domains, with c -sharp focusing on ease of use and productivity, while Rust prioritizes safety and performance. So, which one wins, c -sharp or Fungus? How dare you! Sorry, that joke is getting a bit old. I know. I apologize. As always, it's not always cut and dry when comparing two great programming languages. My advice is to find out which programming language works for you and apply the facts about these two programming languages to your personal context and augment your research by looking at what applicable jobs are available by leveraging LinkedIn or recruitment sites like Monster or Indeed. As always, when choosing a particular programming language for a particular project, it does depend on your requirement. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section which of these languages you prefer and why. As always, all comments are welcome. Your insights are always appreciated. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you and take care. <laughs>